Okay, just a very quick update on what we have been doing. Remember, I was telling you that we're working on this whole development of a uh, open source plugin for QGIS for our optical chart team that we want to use for procedure design, maybe obstacle limitation surfaces. In this case, I do sometimes the type A chart, the takeoff flight path area, and the developer has taken what I had initially and now has created an interface. I'm just testing out at the moment from the Python console because in QGIS you can write scripts and run it from the Python plugin. This is what I have been doing until now. But now he's, he has added this quite nice interface. So I didn't have this before. Now there's some things that are going to be changed because of course um, he's not our nautical expert. And he just took what I had and tried to make sense of it. But I think it works pretty well. So let's see. And it has some notes on how to use. We're going to have the help, etc., etc. But just to give you a small preview. Now, all of this works in a projected coordinate system that you're going to say, well, we need to do WGS84. For me, I'm just going to stick for Cartesian. It's just easier to develop at the moment. Maybe later on, if there's some funding, etc., we can move to geodetic calculations. So how does this work? We have a layer called runway, and this runway needs to be drawn from the takeoff start to the takeoff distance available end, in or to the runway end, or you want to call it. It's in a projected code in the system. I'm just going to change the symbology so you see how it's drawn. It's drawn from this point to this point. This point here will be the departure end of the runway. Okay. So you need to have a layer called runway. It has to be in a projected coordinate system at the moment. I'm going to see later on if we can change this to WGS84. But for the moment, everything needs to be in a projected coordinate system. Then I need to have a point layer. It doesn't need to have any special name, just a point layer and select where is going to be my departure end of the runway. So I'm just going to start here. And then I can run my script right now. It's from a button here, but we're going to create a plugin that we can click around somewhere here, etc. It's going to be freely available, open source. And not pay too much attention about runway direction. And these, all the parameters are the standard parameters that are from uh, Annex 4. You can, of course, change it if you want. So it's not hard coded, etc. Just going to keep the defaults. I'm going to test it out with no clear way. Okay, so there's no clear way. Now, this doesn't really matter. We need to adapt this, etc. But the end of elevation, let me see what's published on the AIP. Okay, so the AIP says that at the end should be 25.69 meters. Why? Because this is the start, this is the end. I'm not going to use a start right now, so it can be zero. Doesn't really matter. And when we click OK, it creates this area automatically. It's added into the layer tree. If I open it, it tells me the layer, etc. And if I start editing and right click on it, it does have the 3D component. So I can later export these into Google Earth to visualize it in 3D. So let's try that out. That's not automatic. I need to do it manually, but just so you can see that is 3D. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Test. Make sure it's absolute. Save it to my computer. Okay, so take off path area. Test. Going to save. I'm not going to add it to QGIS because I'm going to open up in Google Earth. Okay, now that I have started Google Earth, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is Honduras. This is the airport. It looks 3D. I'm just going to change here the properties for the style. Okay. And pretty much I see a penetration there. Okay, so of course this is not the official data, but it gives you a pretty good idea of where your penetrations might be. And so I think it looks pretty good. 
is just you know uh starting out now let's see because this airport says that it does have a clear way okay so let's see the clear way says 1400 that's a very long clear way ah and there's a bug because i cannot add more than uh it's too long i guess so it's limited to three digits instead of 1400 okay no things happen we're going to record this i'm going to put it up in the issue trackers hopefully this will be uh, soon so that everybody can try it out and test it and check the next steps will be to put it in a button that anybody can click and create these areas and um, probably then the next step will be doing the obstacle assessment hopefully you like the developments